One of the things we do here is raise Louisiana pine snakes for release over in western Louisiana as part of a conservation project to restore that species. One of the things we just did recently was take out a group of hatchlings that we hatched and raised here to release back into the wild. The Louisiana pine snake release that we just did was the largest release to date for the program, together with animals hatched at Memphis Zoo and the Jacksonville Zoo and Gardens. We released a total of 41 pine snakes back into the wild. Louisiana pine snake is a really special species that's endemic to Louisiana and a little bit of Texas, and it's seen widespread declines over the last century. So one of the big threats to them is habitat destruction. With those shrinking habitats, then the species is more dispersed. It's harder for them to reproduce. It's harder for them to maintain that population. They're often listed as one of the rarest species of snakes in North America. It's really cool to see those little snakes. As soon as you put them down, just zip right into the hole you put them next to. It's, it's, it's very rewarding. Well, I think it's important to know that one of the chief functions of zoos, aside from being able to give the public a memorable experience by coming and seeing some animals that they aren't able to see in their backyard, for us to be able to be positively impacting those species that we are letting people come to see. So when people come to Audubon and they see our pine snakes in their exhibit, they can know that we are also actively increasing their numbers in the wild because we really don't want to be the only place in the world left that people can see Louisiana pine snakes.